Um, I want first of all thank you all for just taking time for yourself this morning. And if things come up um, during this practice, just notice, let them go. Um, and so I'd like to take, have you bring your hands into heart position, but actively press them together. Nice and strong pressing action. And we're going to believe, begin with an ujjayi or the ocean breath. And so this is a breath where you inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. But the exhale is a like a, you're saying H-A sound only inside your mouth and it should just sound like this ocean swelling. So here we go, inhale, draw the breath in. Exhale, ha through your mouth closed, but breathing out through the nose. Inhale. Exhale. This time on the inhale, I'd like you to draw your elbows into each other. And on the exhale, bring them back out. Three more of these. Inhale. Elbows together. Exhale. Hands to heart center. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And lightly bow your head, soften those hands. And today we're going to set an intention, someone or something that you'd like to bring to mind. And in addition to that, once you have that person or cause in your heart, dedicate this practice to someone. It is a love practice. And you might even think about someone that you know that needs to be surrounded by love. And continue with your ujjayi breath in this position and I'm going to sing the love mantra. Love is patient, love is kind. Love does not envy or boast. Love is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. Oh, hands to your knees. Lovely ladies. Little cat cow, inhaling in, looking up, drawing the palms of your hands back to the creases of your hips. Exhale. Cat, dropping the shoulders forward. Inhale. Shoulder blades come together. Exhale, cat. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And keeping your hands on your knees, we're going to do a couple Sufi rolls here. So inhale as you bring your head toward the front or 12 o'clock position, exhaling 
as you roll back and relax. Inhale, forward, exhale, on your way back around. Inhaling, you should feel this lovely opening in the hips. One more, this direction. And then we'll reverse, going up, exhaling on your way back, inhale, exhale, inhale, breathe out, last one. Lovely. Then I'd like you to swing your legs to the side and meet me in a tabletop position. <clears throat> Putting your palms of your hands slightly forward, curling the toes under. We're going to come into our first downward facing dog. So gently Inhale and exhale, pedaling it out, letting the head hang. Deep breath in and out, moving, keeping the knees slightly bent. Two more deep breaths here, inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, exhale, and on the next inhale, look forward to the top of the mat and hop or take small steps, jump till you get into forward fold. Lightly bend and inhale, halfway lift. Nice flat back, exhale, fold. Inhale, great, big, reaching up to the sky, to mountain top, and exhaling the hands to heart center with music, okay? Inhale, put your hands on your waist, step the left foot back, about three feet, a 45 degree angle, and we're going to come into warrior one. Okay. Inhale, hands up overhead, slight bend, deep breath in and out. On the next breath, pivot that foot so it comes parallel to the back of the mat and exhale warrior two inhale drop the hand back to the thigh look at the palm of your right hand peaceful warrior and big breath again inhaling and exhaling into warrior two, looking out over the right fingertips. Lovely. Turn your left or right foot in and slightly so the toes angle in, the heels going to the outward on the wide side of the mat. Bring the hands to the hip. Inhale, look up. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Now here you can use your blocks if you like to, to just place your hands underneath, or you can walk your hands out towards the ankles. Gradually, you're looking to work the head toward the mat, and this pose can be used to bring you into a headstand should you desire that deep breath in and out 
On the next breath, take your hands and walk them towards your left foot. Turning your left foot towards the front of the mat, which is actually the back, and a 45 degree angle, readying yourself to come into warrior one again. Taking your time, pressing into the feet, outward part of the foot in the back, rise up, you can bring your hands to your waist or above. Warrior one, deep breath in and out. Pivot on the back foot, bringing it parallel to the end of the mat. Warrior two. Deep breath in here, ladies, and exhale. Bring the right hand palm down to the thigh. Inhale, keep that front knee bent. Reverse warrior or peaceful warrior. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Pivot on that left foot, bringing it in towards the mat. Inhale, hands to the waist. We're coming in again towards wide-legged forward fold. Bringing the hands to the mat or keeping them on the waist, ankles, whatever suits you today. Remember, always do what feels good to your body. Relax and release that head, let it hang. Take another deep breath in. And out. Inhale in. And out. On the next inhale, walk those fingers back over to the right side, bringing them on either side of the right foot. Placing them down and bringing your right foot back so that you can come to all fours. Here we're going to reach our palms of our hands slightly forward, knees to the outer sides of the mat, toes together, coming into child's position. Okay. Bring the head, forehead to touch the mat. If this does not serve you, you can come into Balasana with the knees together and hands behind. Notice this cave-like breath. Breathing in and use your ujjayi exhale with the nose open and the mouth closed. Hear the sound. Feel your lower ribs expand. Two more breaths here. And exhale. Next inhale, gradually walk your hands up and bring your legs to the side, facing. And this is where, again, I would like you to use a pillow or a blanket to sit up on for our last closing pose, which is star pose, Tarasana. And you're coming into butterfly, but this time with the bottoms of your feet out further ahead. I don't want them close up, but out, extended forward. You can inhale, and we're gonna exhale. Bring the hands down, elbows resting on the knees, coming into star pose. You should feel a lovely stretch in your lower back. Opening up of the hips. Five breaths here. And 
as you relax, maybe you'll find yourself falling forward. Just relax and let it go. Deepening into the pose. One more big inhalation through the nose, out through the nose. And then gradually, slowly, gently, bring yourself back up into easy pose or cross-legged. Bring your hands back to heart center. Bow your head. Bring the thumb towards the heart. And I'd like to close with the last half of the Corinthians verse. Music on. Love does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, love believes all things. Love hopes all things, love endures all things. Love never fails. Oh, amor, amor, caridad. And if it so suits you and you have time, would be a lovely time to come into Savasana and just relax and experience that deep breath of healing. Thank you so much for opening your hearts and practicing together today. Namaste.